In Elon Musk's latest confirmation, what really surprised the world was not a new electric car, but a robot. He revealed that the current Tesla Optimus in public has been officially recognized as Generation 2.5, while many people assumed that the current project was a third or fourth generation version. Musk's announcement brought surprising clarity. With just the Optimus Gen 2.5, this robot brings countless interesting features with an estimated price of only $8,000, and Tesla is planning to mass-produce, possibly reaching half a million units per year by 2027. So, what really happened if Tesla updates Optimus to Gen 3? Don't click away. In the next 30 seconds, I'll show you Tesla's most secret update about Optimus. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. The most striking aspect of Musk's statement is that Gen 2.5 is not just a prototype. It is a bridge between earlier designs and the upcoming Gen 3, and the details he revealed demonstrate why this intermediate generation matters. Compared to the Gen 2 platform shown publicly in 2023, the Gen 2.5 Optimus has already undergone a series of design optimizations that reduce weight, increase balance, and improve joint articulation. Most notably, Musk confirmed that Gen 3 will feature a highly sophisticated human-like hand design with 26 degrees of freedom, rivaling the dexterity of a trained human operator. To put this into perspective, human hands generally possess around 27 degrees of freedom, and most commercial robots currently manage fewer than 12. By nearly doubling the articulation of Optimus compared to earlier Tesla versions, Musk is signaling that Tesla intends for the robot to handle tasks far beyond simple lifting and repetitive motions. It will be capable of manipulating delicate objects, typing, preparing food, or even performing complex maintenance in both homes and industrial environments. Equally shocking to analysts was the pricing announcement. In the early stages of Optimus development, many predicted that Tesla's humanoid robot would cost upward of $20,000 to $25,000, putting it squarely in the domain of corporate buyers, laboratories, and wealthy early adopters. Musk, however, has set the price of Gen 3 at just $8,000, instantly positioning the robot as a consumer-level product rather than an elite technology. If Optimus costs $8,000 up front, it is essentially priced at the level of a single year of service work, yet it promises to operate for over a decade with only minor maintenance. This comparison underscores why Musk referred to Optimus as a product intended to become as common as electric cars. It is not simply a tool for corporations, it is a robot aimed at every household. The production numbers Musk cited further reinforce that intention. Tesla aims to scale manufacturing to 500,000 robots annually by 2027, a figure that rivals the production scale of entire automotive segments. For context, BMW produced approximately 2.5 million cars globally in 2023, while Tesla produced just over 1.8 million electric vehicles in the same year. For a robotics platform to reach half a million units per year within just three years signals not only Tesla's confidence in its supply chain but also its belief that demand will be widespread. Musk has consistently argued that the bottleneck in robotics is not design but scaling. Just as Tesla solved the mass production of lithium-ion batteries when few believed it was possible, Musk is betting that Tesla can achieve the same industrial breakthrough for humanoid robots. The weight reductions and structural optimizations in Gen 2.5 are critical for this scalability. Earlier versions of Optimus weighed over 160 pounds and required significant power to operate smoothly. By revising frame materials, integrating lightweight alloys, and redesigning actuators, Tesla has reportedly reduced the weight closer to 125 pounds in Genesis 2.5 while maintaining a height of approximately 5 feet 8 inches, comparable to an average adult human. This not only reduces energy consumption, but also makes the robot safer in domestic environments. A lighter robot with advanced balance algorithms is less likely to cause accidental harm and can maneuver more easily through cluttered living spaces. In addition, Tesla's integration of its automotive camera systems into Optimus gives it advanced vision at low cost, leveraging economies of scale from car production. Gen 2.5 uses multiple high-resolution cameras positioned in both the head and torso, supported by Tesla's full self-driving neural networks adapted for humanoid mobility. This fusion allows the robot to navigate dynamic spaces, recognize objects, and avoid hazards in real time, much as Tesla cars can identify road conditions and obstacles. One of the boldest parts of Musk's vision is the shift in public perception about what robots are meant to be. For decades, 
robotics has been divided into two worlds. Industrial robots, which are expensive and highly specialized machines in factories, and speculative humanoid robots, which remained mostly in research labs or science fiction. Musk is collapsing that distinction by declaring that Optimus will be priced like a household appliance and produced in volumes rivaling mainstream vehicles, he's effectively announcing the beginning of a consumer robotics era. If Tesla achieves its target, there could be millions of Optimus units in circulation by the end of the decade, a figure that dwarfs all existing humanoid deployments combined. According to the International Federation of Robotics, fewer than 200,000 service robots for professional use were sold worldwide in 2023 most of them limited to niche functions like warehouse handling or medical assistance. Tesla's 500,000 per year goal would single-handedly increase the global humanoid robot population several times over. The affordability and potential ubiquity of Optimus also carry profound economic implications. At $8,000, a robot can be financed much like a car. Spread over a five-year loan, monthly payments could be as low as $140, a cost lower than many household internet or phone bills. If the robot is capable of performing cleaning, cooking, basic childcare support, and elderly assistance, then the return on investment becomes obvious. Households would save both time and money while gaining an always available assistant. For businesses, the equation is even clearer. A restaurant could deploy five Optimus units for $40,000 total, far less than annual labor costs for staff. A warehouse could operate hundreds of units without worrying about overtime, insurance, or turnover. These economic realities are why investors quickly began recalculating the valuation of Tesla's robotics program after Musk's confirmation. Some analysts projected that if Tesla captures even 5% of the global household robotics market, it could add hundreds of billions of dollars to its long-term revenue streams. However, Elon Musk has repeatedly said that Tesla's mission is to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. But with Optimus, the mission expands to accelerating sustainable labor. In Musk's view, repetitive and physically demanding tasks should be automated, freeing humans for creative, intellectual, and emotional pursuits. Optimus, with its lighter frame, improved dexterity, and reduced cost, demonstrate that Tesla is not simply experimenting. It is engineering toward a future where robots become companions, assistants, and collaborators in everyday life. Musk even described Optimus as something that should become as universal as cars, suggesting that he envisions a world where having a humanoid robot in one's household is no more unusual than owning a washing machine or a smartphone. Skeptics, of course, point to challenges. Can Tesla truly ramp to half a million units per year, given the complexity of humanoid robots? Will safety regulations adapt quickly enough to allow widespread domestic use? Can an $8,000 price point be maintained once supply chain pressures are accounted for? These questions are valid, but they are also reminiscent of doubts about Tesla's electric cars 15 years ago. Many believed Tesla could never produce affordable EVs at scale, yet today the Model 3 and Model Y are among the best-selling vehicles in multiple countries. Similarly, critics said battery storage would never be profitable, yet Tesla's Megapacks, Megablocks, and Powerwalls are reshaping energy grids. So what gives Tesla Optimus the ability to think? Don't click away. In the next 30 seconds, I'll show you Tesla's most secret update about Optimus. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. The Vision Stack ingests and interprets the world at 1,000 frames per second while fusing a 32-megapixel multispectral camera with a depth system that resolves down to 0.1 millimeters. A typical person needs about 200 milliseconds to register a visual stimulus and produce a reaction. Many industrial robots running camera in the loop control still live near 100 end to end. If Optimus holds sensor to actuator latency below 10 milliseconds for common tasks, it is roughly 20 times faster to respond than peers that operate in 200 millisecond budgets. And the difference is visible. Hitting 1000 Hz with a meaningful signal requires a hybrid pipeline. The 32-megapixel multispectral camera supplies high-detail frames that anchor texture, color, and fine alignment, even at 10 bits per pixel, which is 320 gigabyte per second, far beyond what you would sling across a general bus. So the camera head pushes intelligence to the edge. The last leg of the perception stool is temporal. Seeing faster is not the same as understanding sooner. 
The Optimus pipeline, therefore, keeps a short-term buffer of microframes and a medium-term buffer of world states. The short buffer runs at 1000 Hz for contact-rich actions, such as grasping, pouring, or foot placement on variable terrain. It feeds jerk-limited controllers with fresh surface normals and slip estimates every millisecond. The medium buffer ticks at 120 Hz and feeds a world model transformer that reasons about objects, humans, and constraints across a few seconds. Sight without foresight is twitchy, so Optimus borrows the best ideas from Tesla's full self-driving program and repackages them for bipedal life. Two ingredients stand out. The first is occupancy and semantics in 3D, learned end-to-end -end from video. By 2030, over 1.4 billion people worldwide will be over the age of six. Indoors, they infer traversable regions, affordances like handles or latches, and the likely motion of people or carts. The second is planning with a learned cost that can look further ahead than hand-coded rules. A humanoid does not need to forecast 100 meters down the freeway, but it does need to project several seconds into a busy scene, predict where gaps will be near doorways, and anticipate how a human co-worker will reach for a shared object. If the Tesla Optimus brain genuinely carries 10x more parameters than the prior release, think of the leap not as raw bloat but as representational headroom. More capacity for rare configurations of limbs and props, more nuance in human pose estimation, more memory for the oddities of cupboards, drawers, and carts that were underrepresented in earlier data. What engineering unlocks at home, and especially for older adults. Far-field voice wake works across typical living rooms at up to 5 meters with beam-formed microphones that hold a 20 to 30 decibel signal-to-noise margin, even with TV audio in the background so an older adult does not have to shout to be heard. Low-light navigation remains stable, which means nighttime trips to the kitchen require no harsh lighting, because the light in the RGB strip will ignore the ambient light factors for the robot. Moreover, door handles, faucets, and appliance knobs are treated as affordances rather than custom scripts so a new kettle or a different fridge handle still makes sense to the robot after a few seconds of observation. In daily routines, this translates to real tasks, carrying 15-pound grocery bags from the door to the counter without banging into corners, loading or unloading a dishwasher. When looking at safety supervision for aging in place, slip and fall signatures are detected in under 100 milliseconds from body pose and acceleration cues. The local response begins immediately by reducing nearby actuator torques and clearing space, while a parallel network triggers alerts. If the person is responsive, the robot requests verbal confirmation and offers a handhold at a safe height within two seconds. If there is no response, Tesla Optimus will immediately notify the authorized caregiver. To avoid false alarms during normal lounging or stretching, the planner demands a multi-signal agreement, pose, motion, and audio, before calling for help and it asks a simple word confirmation first, when possible. Medication adherence becomes less about smart pillboxes and more about embodied routine. At scheduled times, Optimus arrives with water and a reminder. A small on-wrist camera verifies that the cap on the correct dial is opened. A top-down view checks count and color without storing images beyond the event, and a local model marks the dose as taken. If the person hesitates, Optimus will offer a read-aloud explanation, repeat dosage, and can place a caregiver call on request. Additionally, telepresence is built into the same head unit that reads the world. A stabilized eye-level camera keeps remote family at natural height, while a three-mic array captures clear speech. Echo control is tuned for small rooms so older voices do not get lost. A call can be initiated in under 10 seconds by voice or by a single large target tap on the chest display, and can be routed to a short list of trusted contacts. For check-ins, the robot can perform a 60-second wellness sweep, temperature with a non-contact sensor, room CO2, open window state, stove state, then report a simple green or yellow status to family, with full details only visible locally. So when someone asks how Optimus can think, resist the tug toward mysticism. The answer is that it sees faster, with more reliable measurements, and it uses that stream to predict a little further and a little better than you expect. It plans continuously instead of in lurches. It treats contact as a signal to be shaped, not a surprise to be endured. It learns from its own near misses and from a planet of sister machines that did something similar yesterday. It accepts new hands and new souls, the way a person accepts new tools or shoes. And because it is built on the shoulders of a driving stack that already learned to reconcile messy video with stubborn physics, its priors are good from day one. None of this makes it a person. 
All of it makes it a partner that appears to think because it almost always does the next right thing without drama. The promise of Optimus is not a one-time leap to artificial general intelligence. It is the crystallization of an approach. Crank the perception loop to 1000 Hz where it matters, anchor it with a 32 megapixel multispectral eye and a 0.1 mm depth sense for trustworthy geometry. Widen the brain by about 10x so it can remember and generalize, and wrap it in a body that can be repaired, upgraded, and specialized in minutes. Do that, and a six-foot machine begins to behave in ways that humans read as thought. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.